Hi everybody. So today is Technique Tuesday. Um, the first Tuesday of every month, I'm taking a look at a really simple abstract art technique that can be used as a meditation aid. And I do this kind of drawing all the time, particularly when I feel like I need to draw something because I know physically, emotionally, mentally, um, the process of making art is extremely beneficial to me. But I don't always want to sit down and create an actual full, um, you know, painting from start to finish, or maybe I don't have any ideas. And so this is kind of a way to just sit and doodle. It's very abstract, so there's no right or wrong, but it is intricate enough to keep my brain focused here, which helps clear out all the, the worry thoughts, the to-do list thoughts, things like that, um, and brings me to a place of calm. I'm going to show you how to do this today. Um, please know that while I'm going to show you with circles, it's certainly something you can do with other shapes or a combination of shapes. This one is actually circles and triangles and squares and rectangles. So it's easily adaptable, but it is extremely simple to do. So for this, we need a piece of paper. Now, I'm gonna show you on a flat piece of paper just because it's easier for the camera, but I carry around these, um, these little five and a half by eight and a half sketchbooks that I just absolutely adore. And they're really a nice size to just sit down and play with different things like this when I need a minute to draw and I don't necessarily wanna do a whole great big thing. So we're gonna start with a white piece of paper. I'm gonna show you with circles today. Like I said, you can certainly do this with any other shape. Um, you are welcome to freehand them if you want to. If you're a fan of a more de defined shape, there's certainly nothing wrong with using a circle tool like this that I'm gonna to use today. Or if you're gonna do squares or triangles, maybe cutting out different sizes out of cardboard and using those as a template, you can certainly do that. Because I'm gonna use my circle tool today, I'm gonna to start with a pencil. I'm ultimately gonna black them in with a Sharpie, but I don't wanna use the Sharpie on my circle tool because that point is long enough, it'll get ink on here and I don't want to I don't want to mess up my tool so I'm gonna start with just a pencil and there really is no rhyme or reason to this I'm just gonna start making circles here and there all different uh, sizes I guess a circle can be a different shape can it <laughs> all different sizes randomly all over the place overlap them, make them different sizes, and just keep drawing circles until you feel like you've got enough on there. I'm not going to do a ton of them because I don't want this video to be really, really long. I, I just want you to get the idea how this works. Ultimately, if I were sitting and doing this just for my own peace of mind, my own relaxation, my own way to get into a meditative state, I'm probably going to fill the whole paper. Um, but for this video, this paper is a little bit large, so we're not going to fill the whole thing. So I've made my shapes. Like I said before, if you would rather do it with squares or triangles or hearts or stars, you can use any shape you want to. Just make sure that they overlap and that they're different sizes. If you want to use multiple shapes, there's no reason you couldn't do circles and triangles and squares all on the same drawing. Again, just make sure they overlap here and there and that they're different sizes. So with my circles on here, I'm going to come back and I'm just going to go right over what I drew with my Sharpie to black in the lines. If you're a little bit wiggly when you're tracing around these and they don't come out completely circular but they have little wiggles in them, that's perfectly fine. We are not going for perfection here. The idea is that this is a process that's going to distract our minds a bit give us an opportunity to step away from day-to-day -day worries 
find some quiet in our minds. So we're not going to worry about whether it's perfect or not. And you'll just continue outlining until you get all of your circles outlined. Turn your paper if you need to to make it easier. There's absolutely no rule that says your paper has to stay the same direction at all times. Look at that, I'm moving right off camera, aren't I? <laughs> Watch this. There's my mark. <laughs> So feel free to turn your paper if you need to, to make it easier so that your drawing feels like it's natural. And just continue until you've got them all outlined. Now, what we're going to do to get that kind of off again, on again effect, let me find the one that I showed you to begin with, like this. Is we're going to color in every other space and it's not as hard as it looks you're gonna pick a starting spot and black it in so maybe I'm gonna start with this one and again no rhyme or reason you get to pick your starting spot and that's that's one of the interesting things about these is that they're gonna turn out different every time because you're gonna have a different configuration of shapes and because you choose every time where you're starting your color it's going to change the look of it. Sometimes they're going to turn out a little lighter looking. Sometimes they're going to turn out a little darker looking. So I'm going to start just randomly with this one, just because, and I'm going to fill it in completely. I like to use markers or colored pencils for this just because it's nice and easy, but certainly you could use watercolors or other paints. I would say if you're going to do that, just make sure that your paper is appropriately thick so you don't end up with lots of warps and wiggles in your paper. So with that one colored in, now the idea is that we're going to go every other. So everything on, e on any side of this is going to be white. So this space here touches it, this space here touches it. So both of those are going to be white. So if I know this one's going to be white, then the next one's gonna be black. Or whatever color you choose. You certainly don't have to use black. I'm kind of a fan of the black and white graphics, so I tend to use black on the paper so that I get that black and white contrast. But you can absolutely do these in whatever color you want to. So we started black, white, black, white, right? Now we're gonna come this direction. Black, white, black, And everything that touches this, because this is white, everything that touches it is black. So this one's going to be black. This one's going to be black. And you'll notice there's this little guy right in between these two. Because it's its own separate piece, we're going to continue the alternation with it. So white, these two are touching it, so they're black. This one doesn't technically touch the white. It's in between these two black, so anything that touches these two is going to be white. That one touches these two, so it's going to be white. This one touches here, so it's going to be white. That would make this one black. This touches both of these, so this is going to be white. This touches in, so that would be black. This touches in, so that would be black. And you get the idea. You're just alternating all the way out to each side of your drawing. Black, white, black, white, black, white. So again, this one touches here, so this is going to be black. This one's going to be black, white, white, black. And there we go. 
hopefully you can see how it would have turned out differently if I had started with this big space black and then these would be white it would be a whole lot darker drawing which is completely okay there's no right or wrong to it and then from here once you've got your every other done you could come back with another color um, I'm kind of liking green today so you could come back with another color and start filling in the white spots or you could leave it black and white if you want to you get to decide whether you want color whether you want it to just be black and white either way is perfectly fine I do it both some days I color them in sometimes some days I don't but you would essentially just come back in and color in the every others now I'm using all green on this one which is kind of what I did on this I used all blue on that one I did the same thing on this one only I did it with triangles and these I just freehanded. I didn't use a template, so they're kind of wonky, and that's okay. But after I blacked them in, then I came back with green. This one, I did circle squares and triangles. After I blacked them in, I came back and did random colors. So this one's got a lot more colors. So it's essentially three variations on the exact same theme. There's a lot of, um, a lot of space for creativity in how you're going to do this. And so the idea is while you're sitting and drawing these shapes, blacking in the every others, it's just complicated enough to keep your brain focused here, but not so complicated that it gives you a headache. <laughs> it, it's fairly simple once you pick your starting spot. You're just going every other all the way out to the edges. And you're keeping your mind focused here while you're doing it by looking for that every other spot. So by keeping your mind focused here, you're not worried about the dishes that are sitting in the sink, the laundry that still needs to be done, the kids that have to have a schedule for all of their sports games for the rest of the week, provided they're doing sports, this being 2020, that may not be an issue, or 2021, sorry. That may not be an issue, but you get the idea. You're focused here. Here instead of on all those other things and so that lets your mind quiet doesn't empty completely you're still gonna have thoughts and that's okay watch those thoughts as you have them because it's interesting sometimes while you're sitting doing something like this you might get a creative thought that you hadn't had otherwise so if there's maybe a problem that's been bothering you for a couple of weeks and you haven't been able to find a solution sit down and do drawings like this periodically. You don't have to spend a lot of time doing it. You can spend five and 10 minutes at a time. You don't have to finish one all in one sitting. You can start it and come back to it another day. But sit and try something creative like this and see while you're doing it where your mind takes you. Like I said, you might have a creative thought come in as a way to maybe solve that problem that's been bothering you that you hadn't thought of otherwise because we get so wrapped up in all of the things we have to do sometimes it's hard to let those creative thoughts in that might serve a purpose to solve something for us i like to keep a sheet of paper off to the side or if i'm using my little sketchbook sometimes i'll flip the pages over and as i get ideas come in that i hadn't had before i'll just flip over and write them down real quick and then come back to the drawing continue drawing as more ideas come in flip over and write them down real quick and then I'll go back to them later and evaluate them and see if there's any merit in some of those thoughts and ideas to help me solve a problem or help me do something a little differently or a little better in my life something like that so I would just continue coloring 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 using whatever coloring method you choose. Like I said, I like to use markers or colored pencils for these just because they're easy, but certainly you could use um, paints if you wanted to, crayons, anything like that. Or you could just use the Sharpie and leave it black and white. That's completely fine too. Now, if you find that you're enjoying this process and you want to extend it, you don't necessarily have to stop when you get everything colored in. As you can see on this one, hopefully, I've added some dots and some lines. Same thing on that one. Same thing on that one. 
So you can continue the process and prolong that calmer meditative state in your mind by just adding easy little embellishments to it. Dots I particularly love because they're just easy. So you can come in and just do three, five, two, one, different sizes if you want to. You know, add some dots here and there. Or you could do maybe little hash marks, make them look like little stitches, like they're stitched together. All kinds of stuff like that. Um, one of them, I think I did some X's. So you don't have to use complicated shapes. Maybe you want to put a star here and there. They're just little doodly ways to extend the process and just keep drawing. And it doesn't have to have a specific look. It doesn't have to have a plan. Just start making marks and see where it takes you. So with that, that is a quick, easy way to create an art practice that has a touch of meditation to it. And like I said, I like to use this when I feel like I need to draw something because I know that helps even me out mentally and emotionally, but I don't necessarily know what I want to draw. You can just sit and draw shapes, color them in. I like the every other pattern, but you know, certainly you could color them in however you wanted to. This is just a place to get you started. Certainly, if you try this, add your own creativity to it. If you do, I would love to hear how you do with it, what you think of it. If you feel like posting the things you create, please tag me at Painted Willow Art, whether it's Facebook or Instagram. I would love to see what you're doing. And if you have any questions or comments, absolutely. Um, post those in the comments on the video and I will answer those. I don't check the comments every day, but I do check them every couple of days. So certainly if you have a question, put it there and I will get it answered for you as best I can. And if you enjoy this type of content, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel. I will be posting a Technique Tuesday the first Tuesday of every month through the rest of the year where we'll look at different um, easy art practices, easy techniques like this that can help get you into that meditative state of mind. So thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. And I will talk to you soon.